we're halfway through our week of a tour of the world of Thunderbirds to see what insights we can gain about God from the boys at International Rescue. The ultimate bad guy in Thunderbirds was the Hood, who, curiously, was never actually mentioned by name in the series. Perhaps even using his name was inviting evil. The Hood was feared as the world's most dangerous man, whose main aim was the acquisition of power, regardless of justice or ethics. And he operated from a hidden temple deep in the heart of a jungle, and he was ruthless and calculating beyond comprehension, calling on evil mystical powers, allowing nothing to get in the way of him. One of his few spoken phrases was curse international rescue. He recruited weak humans to be pawns in his schemes, while he himself remained in an ornate, secluded temple to himself somewhere in the jungle, a secret world of his own creation. And for us, becoming enmeshed as pawns in things that are just not of God is something we all struggle with. Whether it's money or power or anything else, we all know what it is to feel that we can't get it right for getting it wrong. And the sense that somewhere there's a really bad guy bringing evil into the world and into our lives, is of course true and real. And he says, curse Christ and curse Christians. He's not the hood and he's not in the end the winner. The whole message of the Bible is that God wins and Satan loses. And the rescue mission of Jesus lets us choose to be on the side of God. Lord our God, we thank you this morning that when we know you and trust you and put our faith in you, we are on the victory side. But we know that the enemy is real and wants to divert us away from you, to lead us into temptation, to lead us into darkness. But we thank you that Jesus is with us by his Spirit day by day and wants to guide us and lead us into the light, not into darkness. So help us to know you, help us to remember the truth of your word and guide us and lead us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.